Oh, Westworlders, are you ready? We are into the final stretch of our Season 2 Reaction Series here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page. My name is Sean O'Connell. I'm the Managing Director here at Cinema Blend, and I am the one who reacts to television shows uh, on this channel. Maybe you've seen the Game of Thrones series that I did, or you watched me watch The Mandalorian, and so far you guys have been watching me watch Seasons 1 and 2 of Westworld. Um, I have two episodes left to go in this season. I'm expecting a lot of stuff to hit the fans, setting up wherever we're going in the third season, which is going to be starting in a couple of days. So, uh, I want to make sure that we are all caught up together on the same page uh, so that we can get into season three together so i'm going to press play on episode number nine which i'm told is called vanishing point and you guys are going to follow along with me uh hit subscribe turn on your notifications every time we post a video here on cinema blend's youtube page you guys come watch it with me and we will uh endure the final two episodes of westworld together so without further ado episode number nine of season two of westworld no one else sees it this thing in me and then one day, he was there. Is that your wife, William? Killing herself? Please tell me this is a full William Invisible episode. To everyone, except you. I want a full so right, William George, episode. What? Oh. Have you been in the park already? By this point? When did it creep in? Hmm. You brought me to a rally point. Hmm. We need to get to a hospital. You set off a flare? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's I how you get out. I know why you're here. You're punishing yourself. Hmm. There's no stopping me getting there. Teddy. Makoche le chaya kiel. Nitawa owaja shinielo. Not all of us deserve to make it to the valley beyond. Hmm. I get Dolores is a total badass, and it's a really cool transformation of character. It's, it's amazing how far she's come. Still love Evil Teddy, though. We're on our own now, Teddy. Like a badass Mars didn't ride a horse, firing a rifle. It's great. It's just the best. Dolores also cool. Look at the way she's backlit. It's fantastic. It's great cinematography. Don't you dare hurt Evil Teddy. Don't even think about it. Boy. Does that guy have Maeve's powers? Huh? I singled out and copied the relevant lines in the Madam's code. So this will work on any host in proximity to her? Yeah. This <laughs> seems like a problem. Oh, Lord. Prepare her for release. Wow. They'd rather the hosts were destroyed. True. I have one last thing to do. Ford can just talk to Bernard. <laughs> Now, go on. You spend months here and never find someone you were looking for. Here we are. I don't trust her. I not one bit. There's I a see. twist. There's a twist coming with her. You don't believe me, do you? No. He doesn't. I don't. No. Maybe it was fate. No such thing as fate. Not in this park. But there are accidents. But you don't like that, do you? Is that why you started it, your little project? I went in. Philanthropy suits you. What's Oz doing without its wizard? <laughs> <laughs> we have an agreement, Robert. Delo stays out of your stories. You stay out of the valley. Oh. I didn't break the agreement your project did. When was the last time you took a good look at your creation and what it's been learning about its subjects? Be careful what you wish for. Oh, what's that? For a self-portrait, you may find it's not very flattering. Enough games, Robert. No, William. I think perhaps one final game. Ooh, you're the one who triggered Robert's final game? What is this agreement? More scenes of Hopkins and Harris. That's close enough, Bernard. She will search your mind and find a message I have left her. Sometimes the science fiction on this is just a little too wonky. Now is the time to fucking clue me in. You can't trust her, Bernard. What they're doing to James Delos. They're doing to everyone who's ever visited the park. That's what's in the facility. All the guests laid bare in code on a vast server. What? Like the cradle. It's called the forge. You say you want in. Doesn't sound like the daughter I know. He doesn't think that's his All daughter. All this data you have on the guests, their decisions, it's precious. 
but to duplicate a person, you need to capture them down to the tiniest detail. At first, we weren't sure what we'd need, so we recorded everything. You'd need to image their minds throughout their stay. Where's the scanner? It was built in. What? So this is all about your mother. You want to bring her back? I want to know why she did it. Do you remember when we first met? And I look at you and I think, wow, he's the real thing. And it turns out you're the only one any good at faking it. Hmm. You're a fucking virus. Mom! Why are you so mad? Look at you. We're going to have to take you back. That was a horrible place. They made me feel like I was crazy. And they treat you like an addict. Huh? Which you are. I mean, your father doesn't love me. He doesn't love you either. I do. Which is true, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Who's playing who? Are you real? Huh. <laughs> That's what I want to know. The episode started with him talking about feeling a shadow inside of him or a darkness inside of him. So I think she's probably accurate. I think he is evil. Yeah, I want to see what this is. What happened was my mother's fault. She's going to be involuntarily committed to her doctor's care. It's the right thing to do. This is sadistic, Robert. Hmm. You don't just think I'm a host. You think everything here is for you. Shoot. You, She's you real. You want the truth? I'm not a host pretending to be a human. I'm your daughter. She's real. Pretending to give a shit about you. And he's going to kill her. I'm going to expose your research project along with you. I'm going to lock you up just like we were going to do to mom. You were the one with that idea. Or did Ford forget to give you that little detail? Fuck Ford. I read your profile. Mom left it for me. You are, in your very essence, a lie. What? It's over, Dad. That's the boss. Hmm. You underestimated me, Ford. I'm gonna see this one three no matter what. Oh, he is off the deep end. This isn't a game. I can show you. Oh, I told you he's going to kill his real daughter. He's going to kill his actual daughter. Oh, my gosh. I never told anyone about my profile. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, William. Oh, William. Oh, William. Now he's going to be completely off the range. As soon as they say the word, it's over for you, sweetheart. Oh, my dear girl. You, Maeve, were my favorite. Hmm. You stayed here in this world to save your child. Hmm. So have I. Oh, Robert. I tried to chart a path for you. It's a shame to let them end it here. Don't let them. Oh my. Robert is the uh, Duzez Machina. They're dead. Of the yeah. story. She's going to betray you, Bernard. <laughs> See? We need to open the door. The door is in the valley. Get out of my fucking head! Hmm. I'm going to survive. It's me. I can feel you searching for me. I'm right here. That simple? Control Alt Delete? Everything's good now? What the fuck happened to you? I had to patch a glitch. QA will track you down soon. You're gonna leave me here? You'll be safer. Right now I have to go. To the valley. Go open the door, Bernard. Those cards are sweet. Please let episode 10 just be all of these characters converging on the valley. I want to see all of them get there at the same time. In all of their messed up states. This dude. Ugh. No one else sees it. This stain. I never noticed before. I love the way he says stain. Everything you feel is true. I belong to another world. This park consumes everybody. Eventually. And damn if it hasn't swallowed you up, William. Good. Please show me what's on that. Thank you for not making us wait. Thank you. Don't 
don't tell me he's been a host. Or does he just even doubt? He that that's how much he doubts everything that's going on around him. We were so in love. We still are, are we? And Teddy's starting to doubt it too. You're my cornerstone. Hmm. You have been since the first time I laid eyes on you. From that day forward, I never wanted to leave your side. Which is why this is so hard. You changed me. Took away his choice. I made it so you could survive. What's the use of surviving if we become just as bad as them? Great question, Teddy. I understand now how this will end. You don't want to hurt me, Teddy. No, I could never hurt you, Dolores. Fare thee well, Ted. Fare thee well. Well, you robbed him of his choices, Dolores. Okay, I'm not going to say that I necessarily claimed that that was going to happen, but I will say that I did point out that Dolores kind of robbed Teddy of his choices, right? Like, she took away his freedom uh, by manipulating him and turning him into Black Hat Teddy, of who I have been documented to be a huge fan of. She basically was as bad as the people who were manipulating the host in the first place, right? Like, she attained ultimate freedom. She makes the decision for him uh, that he can't go on, and so she forcibly changes him into this new persona and the minute that happened i said well that's not right because you're basically taking away his ability to to choose you're taking away his freedoms um which is what everything that the hosts have been fighting for underneath dolores's rebellion so um it's funny to see teddy wake up to that and instead of rebel against dolores who took the choices away from him he takes his own life and and removes himself from the equation not sure that i would have uh, gone that route if i were teddy but it's a it's a choice <laughs> it's a choice and i'll see how it re gets resolved in episode 10 and beyond you know dolores is working her way toward the valley we do see a confrontation between her and the uh, ghost tribe where uh, she is willing to sacrifice them and members of her party in order for her to get through to the valley. We learn more about the quote-unquote door to another world being in this valley, and I'm, I'm assuming this is where episode 10 is going to, that everybody's working their way toward the valley. I think that's kind of where William is going to, but this was largely um, a William episode, and if you're going to uh, come up with a character who deserves their own focus for the benefit of an episode, it's William, in my opinion. Uh, Maeve, I get, is a fan favorite. I love Maeve. I think she's really great. I think that um, her transition from where we began the show, essentially two seasons ago, is just as dramatic and exciting as everything that's happened with Dolores. The two of them have come the farthest. William, um, to me, is my absolute favorite. Uh, well, F William and Ford, the two of them are, are very, very interesting. But William is a fascinating character study in terms of understanding what the park can do to a person, right? Like the park is going to consume everyone, I believe is a paraphrasing what Logan has said. And that's essentially what it did to William. It turned him completely, or it, it as we say, uh, the park brings out who you are for real. And it turns out that William was a horrible person uh, and was trying to hide it with charitable goodwill in the quote unquote real world. Uh, and but really, he was just obsessed with getting back to being the horrendous person that he can be in Westworld. And it turns out that the profile that Ford shares with him, which is a history of all the horrible things that he has accomplished in Westworld, uh, the sheer shock of seeing all of that uh, being dumped upon her is what catapults his wife to take her own life. So, you know, and then now we're at a point where William is so wrapped up in the world that he can't figure out what's real and what isn't real. Uh, he kills his own daughter, thinking that she's a host. He is starting to dig into his own arm because I think he is potentially thinking that, that he might not be real. He's completely lost uh, in the rules of the game. And so, I mean, when you have someone of Ed Harris's capabilities at your disposal, you can go almost anywhere with that character, but they're almost... It feels like writing toward an end for William, that he is going to be so overwhelmed uh, with guilt for what he has allowed the park to do to him that he's uh, going to reach an ultimate uh, an ultimatum, essentially, which could be a sacrifice or could be not. However, Westworld has the ability to change the rules of the game uh, on a whim. As I kind of pointed out, Robert can now sort of show up and manipulate almost anybody, whether it be William uh, or Bernard or even uh, Maeve, to a certain extent, because, I mean, he, he implements himself into Maeve's storyline and essentially says, look, you're the reason why I stayed uh, here in the game afterwards, because I tried to rescue a child in much the same way that you're trying to do this now, too. And what I'm trying to say is 
that Westworld can change its game so completely moving forward and give William a completely different thread to follow. And Harris is so good that we'd largely, I would assume, believe whatever he's going to sell. Right now, he's selling the complete and utter decline of William as a person. And it's been riveting, riveting stuff to do. I mean, I love this episode strictly because of the fact that it gives Ed Harris a chance to chew on some amazing material. And he's so good in it. I love the girl who played Emily as well, too. She was really good alongside of him. And it goes to show that in those moments where the wife is saying to the daughter, like, no, he's not who you think he is. Um, and he's been mean to me this whole time and he doesn't love you. You question that. Like, you're like, oh, is she accurate? Like, does she is she telling the truth? And it turns out she kind of is um, because there's, you know, it's funny. Like you say with William, things are black and white. He just was using the white to hide as much of the black as he could. But this dark soul is essentially coming out now, fully out. And when he's in the park, he's allowed to be that person. Um, great, 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 great. So um, Delos uh, now has a weapon in Clementine that they can send into the park to uh, shut down the hosts, the remaining hosts, I'm assuming. Uh, that was a pretty interesting thing about an agreement between Delos and Ford uh, that he would stay out of Ford's games and Ford would stay out of the valley. So, so many signs pointing toward us heading toward the valley in episode 10. I will find out for myself when I come back for my final reaction to the last episode of season two of Westworld, which will then set us up for season three. So make sure that you hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. We got one more episode to go in this season before things wrap up. And then I'll meet you back here for the beginning of season three, where we can watch it together.